Hey, what's up, guys? Mr. Surplus Nut doing the uh, third part to this video on my two Mazda Negans um, K98, uh, not K98, the <laughs> big jump from there. My um, Russian Mazda Negans, and we left off where where um, the um, we were talking about the uh, 1891 Mazda and telling you guys about the little picture frames that I do and you know all that it 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 adds up man you know to um to uh to the rifles don't just buy it you know well some guys they, they've left me comments saying that you know they don't like their surplus rifles uh refinished and they like them like that with the battle scars and all that but you know what I respect their opinion I respect everybody opinions that's just my taste my liking um, you know, I like to refinish my rifles, you know, the surplus. Um, it's a small collection. I don't really have a lot. I still want to get me on infield. Um, and, um, and pretty much it. I think that would probably have uh, these two Mazenegans. I have a, a Jugo 24 slash 47. I have my K98 Mauser. I have um, the... Um, uh, let me see. Let me see my two K, uh, K31 Schmidt Rubens, uh, one with the uh, Beechwood stock, the other one with the uh, Tiger stripe um, walnut, and um, have like a, the only three SKSs ever produced by Yugoslavia, the uh, M59/66 and the 66A1, and the regular M59. So um, I guess um, I just gotta get me to be satisfied with my collection that I'm working on will be the infield um, and um, uh, probably like a, a, a Garand, you know, I want to get me something from, from, from our country here, a uh, M1 Garand, a, uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, and uh, anyways, going back to this, it's hard to, man, you know, acquire all these rifles and guns. First, you got to make sure you make the space to keep them at, you know, safe and away from the kids if you have children. And also just to, you know, keep them safe, you know. And the more guns you have, you got to, at least I do, that I take them out once in a while. And, um, I, you know, I make sure I polish the uh, wood with um, Pledge. And I get um, Hopi's number nine lubricating oil and I get a little small rag and wipe down oil on all the um, metal and even with a q-tip go inside the little small areas and also uh, at least at least if I don't shoot them I'll probably you know once in a while um, run some of that lubricating oil with a jag and a patch through the barrel to keep the rifling nice and uh, lubricated but anyways um, these rifles they were adopted originally in 1891 and um, they they were in used um, they were used in the war and then from there on a lot of third world countries especially like Vietnam all those Chinese countries Koreans and uh, Filipinos and and um, you know all of them third world countries um, Africa I mean they 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 still use them out in the uh, you know guerrilla warfare and all that stuff I've seen movies where they have these they have the SKS's so they're still being used out there you know um, I know they got dropped um, with the uh, with the new design of the uh, semi-automatic rifle the uh, SKS um, in 1945 when it you know they designed it and then later on the SKS didn't stay long around you know due to the AK-47 but um, let me tell you Russian arsenal are very good um, I like them a lot okay they're very good hardy uh, rifles and uh, and it's a piece of history man you know I'm telling you if you guys have these guns take care of them cherish them you know um, clean them up Try to do whatever you can because I, I've i always, if you guys been checking out my videos, I keep saying it, surplus rifles will completely 
go scarce one day. I mean, you will not. These things are going like hotcakes now. I mean, I don't want to be making like an advertise for the surplus dealers that are selling them. A lot of you guys know who they are. Leave me a comment, and if you want to find out which one is the best, more reputable, which I buy the most from, and I've had great uh, luck with them. You know, there's some out there that'll tell you something, and when you receive that in the mail, it's something else. But these people are really top notch, and the surplus um, weapons that they get are extremely good. And what they tell you they have and they're going to send you is what it is. You can trust, you know, have a peace of mind on that once you order that. Um, if you can, go ahead. Um, and if you, obviously, if you don't have no criminal records or anything, just like if you were applying for a concealed uh, carry license, but if you are clean, you can um, go ahead and uh, apply for a uh, uh, FF. L03 license which is your curio relic license which is your collectors and for 30 bucks I think it's like every three years or something like that and they send it to you and you can order these type of rifles right over the, the, the you know through the phone as long as they have a copy of it and they'll ship it to you alright so um, these are the only two Mazins that I have which I think it's a good um, good choice you know on uh, an M38 carbine uh, 1943 Ishvik. I have like the two factory, the Ishvik and the Tula, and um, the M38. I'm in love with. I wouldn't um, sell this carbine for nothing in the world. This thing is unbelievable. I love this rifle. Okay, it's just um, a a superb um, carbine. It's short. The way it feels, um, how you can um, handle it. It's just unreal, okay? Very, very nice um, rifle. And then I got my um, my Tula 1934, um, 1891. Both are extremely accurate rifles. And, um, you know, it's a piece of history like I call it, okay? A, a piece of history like I call it. And it's, they're nice to have, like on this one, I'm saying I took the, the the sling and the collars off, but then again, I put all that stuff, like the pouches that it came with and all that, I put them in a really, really nice uh, place. Make sure I don't lose it, you know, and because um, when I display it, I bring all that stuff out, and it just, it, all that stuff will, you know, uh, add to the uh, value of the gun. So if you have a, a, a Mazda in the gun and you don't have none of the stuff that came with it or you threw it away, whatever, you know, then again, you have a, you know, something missing. But um, I hope you guys enjoy the video on my two uh, Miles and Nagant, my M38 uh, carbine, and my um, Tula 1934 1891 rifle. And I'll check you guys out in another video.